chanting, we will kill whoever kills our brother. Thousands of mourners pay their respects to the dozens killed in the mosque bombing in the city of Zahedan. The funeral procession took place as the government announced it had executed three men for their involvement in the attack. Within 36 hours, the three were tried, convicted and finally executed near the bombed-out mosque. This rare attack was the deadliest in Iran since the end of the Iran-Iraq War in 1988. The John Dullah group claimed responsibility on Al Arabiya news channel. John Dullah, which means soldiers of God, is a Sunni opposition group with links to Al Qaeda. It says it's fighting for the rights of minority Sunnis in this Shia majority country. Immediately following the blast, Iran's religious leaders blamed the U.S. for the attack. What we can say without doubt about this issue is that the fingertips of America and Israel are definitely on this incident. But the official reaction from Washington on Friday was unequivocal. The U.S. strongly condemns all forms of terrorism. Uh, we do not sponsor any form of terrorism in Iran. And we continue to work with the international community to try and to prevent any attacks against in innocent civilians anywhere. 24 hours later, more violence in the same city this time at the campaign offices of President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. With less than two weeks to go before presidential elections, the government will be aiming to prevent any further attacks. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera.